Travel and Leisure Magazine recently ranked on Colorado as one of the top 10 ski towns to buy a vacation home in. And Evolve Property Management put them on their top 10 national list of ski towns where you should buy a short-term rental. In this video, I'm going to explain why Alma Colorado is on both of those lists and hopefully convince you to consider Alma Colorado for your home. My name is Betsy Rapask and I'm a realtor here in the mountains of Colorado. Alma in particular holds a special place in my heart because I live about 15 minutes outside of town. A majority of my clients who are looking for a vacation home here in the mountains are also hoping to be able to short-term rent it. If your main goal in buying a vacation property is to find one that cash flows, make sure that you stick around to the end of this video for my bonus tip. Proximity is the number one reason why Alma is on this list. Mostly proximity to Breckenridge. Main Street in Alma is about 15 minutes to Breckenridge, and most homes in Alma are about 30 minutes to Breck. If you're looking for somewhere to spend time in the summer outside of Alma, I'd recommend taking the less than an hour drive over to Buena Vista, which is known for whitewater rafting and hot springs. Within less than 10 minutes from Alma, you can be at some of Colorado's most famous hiking trails, including the Decalibron, which is four 14ers that you can hike in a single day. A 14er is what we call a mountain whose peak is at over 14,000 feet. In addition to the Calibron, you're also about 10 minutes from Quandary, which is the most popular 14er in the entire state. If you're looking for something a little bit less intense than going up to 14,000 feet, there are any number of other hiking trails in the Alma area that are, all have beautiful mountain views. Alma itself is a pretty small town, but I think that you'll learn to love the local businesses as much as we do. Otto's Food Cart is a local fan favorite. My favorite thing about it is the breakfast quesadilla, and my favorite review actually is one that somebody posted on Google that I'm going to post here. It says it all. In addition to Otto's Food Cart, we have the South Park Bar, which is the only bar in town that is the perfect place to grab pizza and a beer after a long day spent outside. The Allmart is arguably famous, which is the general store in town, and you've probably seen their logo riding around on some bumpers in Colorado if you've been driving around the state long enough. Allmart has the basics that you probably need in the grocery store. In addition to outdoor clothing, they're a registered Carhartt dealer, so if you need any Carhartt clothing, Allmart's got you covered. Any groceries that you need that you can't find in Allmart, you can pop over to Prather's and Fairplay, which is about 15 minutes away, or pop into Breckenridge and City Market is about 20 minutes from the Allmart. Just a couple doors down from Allmart, you have Big Nippers, which is a thrift store and sort of a found goods store. We have a hundred year old toboggan that we found there after having a couple beers across the street at South Park Pub that hangs on our wall and is one of our favorite finds. It's always worth popping in there to see what knickknacks and crazy things they've had. I've seen everything from a Chia Pet to, you know, true antiques like this toboggan. If you're looking for souvenirs to send home or just something a little bit more mountainy for your own wardrobe, Sheep Herders specializes in Sherpa goods. So think like vests and Sherpa coats, and I am absolutely lusting after one of their moccasins. Alma does have two dispensaries, because what would a Colorado town be without a dispensary? Northern Standard is at the end of town, headed towards Breck, and right next to Northern Standard is the greenhouse that grows everything right here in the mountains, and the reason that's important is because we need plants that are used to high elevation, so they're actually able to survive. This greenhouse is famous for their hanging baskets, and they're actually the ones that you see along Main Street in Breck. Rental demand in Alma as adorable as the little town itself is, is mainly driven by its proximity to Breckenridge. But the reason that all makes this list and Breckenridge doesn't is investability. And this is the ratio of purchase price to your projected rental income. For example, in Summit County, a three bedroom property will average about 1.1 million. And the average rental revenue for a property of that size is about $36,000 a year. In Alma area, you can get a three bedroom for around $665,000 and your expected annual revenue on a short-term rental is about $30,000. So while the short-term revenue is about 20% lower, the property value is about 40% lower. So it's a much better ratio of purchase price to what you can expect to get in short-term rental income. For what it's worth, Alma beats out many other mountain towns in Colorado. 
Winter Park is the next most affordable ski town behind Breckenridge, and Alma beats out the short-term rental investability ratio in Winter Park. Evolve Property Management puts Alma area cap rates at about 5.7%, which is a pretty solid rate, but might not be quite what you were expecting or hoping for. If you were hoping for a better cap rate, make sure you watch to the end for that bonus tip. Another reason why Alma beats out a lot of other mountain towns is because Park County has some of the most lenient short-term rental restrictions. They do require you to have a license, but there is no cap on the number of nights per year you can rent or on the number of licenses that they issue. This is compared to the neighboring Chaffee counties, which capped their short-term rental licenses at 6% of total housing units, which makes it nearly impossible to get a license. And in Summit County, the new rules are a bit convoluted and complicated, but more importantly, if you're in the unincorporated parts of Summit County that are the closest to Alma, going forward, you're gonna be limited to 35 bookings per year, which means that the cap rates in Alma are going to look better and better compared to what you're able to do in Summit County. The last reason to consider Alma is long-term investment. Because of these short-term rental restrictions in neighboring counties and the increasing property prices in Summit County, we're seeing more and more people consider the Alma Fair Play area. Northern Park County, which is where we see Alma and the neighboring town of Fair Play, averaged 11% appreciation in 2022. Properties in this area are on track by the end of 2023 to have tripled in value since 2015, and they are showing no signs of slowing down. Hopefully I've convinced you to add almost to your list of mountain towns to consider when looking for your own mountain home. And if I have, please fill out the form and the link below or shoot me an email so we can set up a consult to talk about your particular vacation property goals. Please like and subscribe so you can continue to learn about our real estate market and our towns here in the beautiful mountains of Colorado and find me on social at Best Your Path on any platform.